Hey everyone, welcome back to Freedom. Guys, I've got another tech tips video for you. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to sync up your audio and just make sure that all of your audio is matched up correctly to your gameplay. This is a really, really huge thing that I see people mess up with quite a lot when it comes to post-production. It's just making sure that your edits are clean and making sure that everything matches up so that when something happens in the game, it matches up completely with your audio and your reaction time on screen as well. So, without further ado, Let's get started. So guys, as you can see here, I use Audacity to record my audio. That is exactly what's picking up right now. Those wavelengths reflect my words that I'm saying at this very moment in time. I like to put my, my microphone percentage to 70%, 70, 70%. 70 uh, and the reason why is because that's just a very good middle ground. It's very good to the point where it's not overpowering. Um, but it's also not too quiet. It's that right level. Obviously, that doesn't contribute anything towards your noise in terms of your white noise. You edit that in post-production. I'll show you how to do that. But yeah, a good solid baseline is 70%. When it comes to people you are actually playing with in terms of playing video games, uh, I use Discord to communicate with my friends and Discord has its own volume button for each individual person. So I'll show you right here. If I right click on my friend Ewan's name, it has a user volume slider. Now I currently have Ewan on 100%. Ewan, if you could just say something. Hello there. So that is a little bit loud. So what I'll do is I'll just put that to 90%. Say something again. Hello there. Okay. That is loud enough uh, for Ewan's volume. And I'll just make sure that my settings are all okay in the game that I'm playing. So I've got very very specific numbers here you can tell this just by how loud the audio is directly into your ears from the game so instantly i know that the game audio is fine i know that the game music is fine i know that ewan's voice is loud enough so you can hear him if you talk now ewan hello there brilliant so because i've adjusted ewan's audio volume separately whilst reflecting that within the game volume you can hear ewan completely fine um and my audio is going to be completely separate because i am recording that on audacity now how do you sync both those things together. So I'm going to do a three, two, one, and I'm going to click my mouse quite hard, uh, not too hard to the point where I break it, obviously, um, but hard enough so that my microphone picks it up, i.e. Audacity picks it up. So as I'm clicking, I'm going to be causing a reaction to happen in the game. So we'll do a three, two, one, now. So the noise of me clicking my mouse in Audacity, which again is a separate audio line, I'm going to match that up with the reaction of my directory opening here on Destiny 2. Now let's head on over to Premiere Pro and I'll show you how you do that. So now that we have both the tracks in, we've got the video from the game and we've also got the audio from the game. Those are all one thing. They're going to be grouped together. No matter where I move it, they're going to be together. And then you've got my separate audio, which is recorded from Audacity. And we want to link this up. We want to make sure that what we see in game matches up with my audio. Now, first, I want to remove any background noise from my audio. So what you're going to want to do is come on over to the audio tracker on the top left hand side. My audio is on audio 2. So we're going to be going to the audio 2 line. And we're just going to add a noise reduction. And we're going to put that to 60%. Again, I've been doing this a very, very long time. 60% is just what works for me and the room that I'm in. It might be different for you. But I would try 60% as a baseline and then just go from there. Okay, so if we zoom in, I just hold Alt on your keyboard and use your mouse with a zoom in. And I'm going to click and drag the timeline. And I'm going to be moving over to where... Ah, there we go. So there's my mouse. I want to move over to where my mouse then clicks. Okay, there we go. So that's the activation. So at that point, a click has been made for this directory to open. So that is where I want it to be. So I'm going to hit M on my keyboard and that's going to set a marker just here. And now I want to look for that three, two, one, and then the click. Three, two, one, now. There we go. So that click is where I want to be. So I'm going to move on over. I'm going to zoom in more. I'm going to zoom in right into this, this audio wave here. This is where that click is. So if I just click on this marker, it's going to move my timeline over. I can move the start of that click right there. So now if I zoom out and play the audio, action to happen in the game. So we'll do a three, two, one, now. Perfect. And that is how you sync up the audio. That is how you make sure that your friend's audio is not overpowering. That is how you make sure that your game audio is the right volume. And that makes for a very, very good result in video at the end of it. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. I really hope this helped you to improve your videos. And yeah, I'll see you in whichever video I next make. Take care.